Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to telescopes.net. The telescope and mount that you see before you is the legendary Takahashi. Um, I got the little FS60 here, um, the CB model. This is a little uh, model that you can add a little field flattener to and do imaging with if you like. I have this one set up with the awesome Teagle mount from Takahashi as well. There's an optional uh, wedge that you can get on here. You got your little drive system here. It runs on uh, D-cell batteries, a little battery pack that you have here. Uh, it's something really cool about these. There's just a little analog system. There's no fancy widgets or gadgets, no computers, nothing like that. All you have is a, a drive system. There's also an optional polar scope that's not here. There's also a counterweight system that you can add to it. There's several different configurations that the Teagle can be placed in. There's a uh, altitude clutch and azimuth clutch here, or in this, uh, is, is, uh, you know, in this configuration, we have your declination clutch and your right ascension clutch here. And then uh, what's happening is it once you uh, tighten these clutches, the motor's engaged, and it'll simply start tracking. So as long as I have the the axis here, the equatorial axis pointed towards the North Pole, the telescope will track at any object that I point at. So I can just simply loosen the clutches, or I have these uh, slow motion controls. So if you'll notice here, I'm just moving this one here to adjust the, uh, you know, the altitude motion, and then this slow motion control here to go ahead and move your uh, right ascension, you know, right here. So. Um, it's just kind of neat to use these kind of systems. You have your finder scope, which is nice, so that if you want to, you know, look behind, you can use both eyes and then uh, find your target. And what you do is you merge the two stars together to center them in the uh, target and then eventually see them in the eyepiece. The, uh, I have an inch and a quarter Takahashi prism. And uh, these little telescopes are, are very pricey compared to uh, other telescopes, but they're beautifully made. They're fluorite crystal. They're doublets. Uh, it's a 355 millimeter focal length in this particular case, but the images are crystal clear, uh, very exquisite. I use this particular unit to look at double stars, and uh, I can spend an entire night using just this one scope to look at uh, popular double stars or showpiece double stars to show to people at uh, presentations or star parties and things of that nature. Uh, even though the scope is, is underwhelming because it's so small, uh, you can still see a lot of things. It, it's just requires that you know what you're looking at and uh, knowing a little bit about it makes it even all the more interesting but nevertheless highly recommended and you can actually do imaging with it and uh, it's just weird because it, it kind of looks like an altazimuth mount but it really is uh, tracking in right ascension which is great and you're not going to get field rotation in your images if you want to shoot some pictures with this so I hope this is, uh, video has been helpful and you have a better idea of how these uh, beautiful telescopes work, and if you have any questions, call us toll-free at 888-427-8766 and ask for Dr. D. That's me.